No matter how you cook your chicken, you're probably gonna start by trussing it. So this is a traditionally trussed chicken. I know for me, traditionally, I was taught trust a chicken like this. That way it cooks more evenly. But after all the years that I've been doing this, I've discovered that that's just not true. You can see the legs are tight against the carcass, so you're actually not getting heat where you want it. By the time these legs are done, this breast is gonna be overcooked. It looks real pretty, but it's actually not that practical. And we're gonna show you a better way to trust a chicken. Here's how we trust our chickens. String goes right down the center of the back. Pull it forward into his little armpits. Cross it around the front. This is not what you would do traditionally. Across the string in front of the breast. And the reason why I do that is when you roast this guy, what's gonna happen is this skin's gonna start to shrink and pull up, and it's gonna overcook this breast. There's not gonna be any skin over it. And I want more crispy skin, evenly as possible, all over my bird. So I'm gonna make sure it stays there, just like that. Pull this guy back, and then you cross him, okay? You wanna make sure this goes under the crown here. Pull it nice and tight, okay? Under the leg, Let's come around the back of the legs here, and then I'm gonna cross it again. See, he's starting to look all perky. So I'm actually wrapping around the knees, the knees of the bird. Flip them over. Cross once, twice, three times. That way it doesn't slip. Tie it off for good measure. That's our bird. He's nice and pretty. Do, 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 chicken. Cool. This guy's ready for roasting. Do, 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 do. Let's take a closer look inside. See, this is what I was talking about earlier. So I tighten the skin in the front, so that way I have these nice, beautiful breasts that are just all covered in golden skin. If you don't do that, the skin starts to shrink and pull back and it actually ends up overcooking the meat. The last thing that's important is, so I've got more skin here that's all crispy on the inside, and then this, if I start to look into it and inspect it, you can see it's blonde and soggy. Pretty fun! So I was watching this video and all these chickens are like, God, what are they gonna get? You ever made a panzanella salad before? <laughs> well done. Rawr, yummy. Dig into this.